jug lines from the automator. And I'm going to do something I've never actually done before in a study. I'm going to give you a little glimpse into how some of the results are going. I can do this. This is in the auto hotkey survey, of course. Um, of course, you've completed it, right? You've completed it. So your data is in here. If it's uh, you haven't, please get it in. Uh, we have until December 20th um, to get it in. And let me let me share a little bit here just to give you an idea of some of the stuff we can do with this. So what we're looking at right here, these are the competitors. We asked, like, which of these competitive tools to use. Um, I took the results and displayed them in an additive tree. The additive tree looks at the correlations of, of things and how people responded. And the things that are closest to each other, so like if we look at, let's see, Jitbit and UiPath, because this distance right here, if we come up here and over and down, that's relatively short compared to everything, or at least compared to like UiPath and Win Automation, right? Because UiPath and Win Automation have to come all the way up here, come up, go all the way up over here, then come down, right? So not many people that use Win Automation are also using UiPath, if that makes sense. So the the shorter the distance, the higher the correlation. I did the color coding just to help, kind of help you be able to spot things and, and you know, look at them quickly. Um, so here we can see people using like UiPath are also using Jitbit, Blue Prism, Keyboard Express, and Hot Keyboard, whatever that is. I've never heard of that. Um, but this has given us an idea of how people are using other tools. Like this right here, trust me, um, these companies, especially like Automation or UiPath, Blue Prism, they'd be paying a buttload of money to be able to see this kind of stuff, right? I, I happen to have a master's in market research, so I spent 20 years analyzing data as a data scientist, so I, I know my my stuff. But um, I wanted to give you a dabble of it if you haven't taken the survey yet. We have until the 20th, so please complete the survey. I have one more uh, that I did here. Oh, it's above it, not below it. There it is. And uh, this is uh, looking at what programming languages they use on a regular basis. And what was interesting in this one, I actually included AutoHotKey, so we have it here. Uh, and I did that purposely to make sure we had we could see how other you know what other languages. So apparently, a lot of people that use AutoHotKey are also using Selenium. That's the closest thing on here, right? The the other ones kind of close to it are Lua and Perl. Um, and I know I think it was talking to Geek Dude, or maybe it was Isaiah. So I'm not too sure. One of the two. Uh, was mentioning that Lua is a, is a very similar kind of, you know, generally in how people are doing stuff. Um, whereas AutoIt, where was AutoIt? Um, here's actions, here's AutoIt down here. Uh, that is with these, which doesn't, it's not a big surprise, right? Here are some hardcore, you got Java, C++, C, um, or was that C sharp? No, C plus C sharp, right? I don't know. This, who, who thinks these things up? I don't know. Um, but it gives you an idea of what other, you know, programming languages people are using. Um, and now, again, this is preliminary, right? We're still collecting data, but I wanted to give you a taste of what we got going here. Let me let me switch here um, and, and let me get sentimental. No, seriously, though, it would really be helpful if you haven't completed the survey. The URL is right here, the d-automator.com slash AHK user survey 2020. Um, I'll put the link in the description and I'll pin it to the first response. Uh, it takes about four minutes to complete. There are prizes. There's a, you know, one random drawing, a $50, a $50 Amazon gift card, as well as I think two or three uh, giveaways for uh, any of our Udemy courses. So um, I, I really, really appreciate it. I don't ask for a lot, right? Um, because uh, I'm I'm the one up here doing stuff for free, but hey, if it just, you know, just take, it takes four minutes, if that, right? Give me some input. It'd be really be great, and and your data get counted, and the community as a whole, the auto hockey community gets a better understanding. The, the survey, there's a lot of other things in it. I don't want to show, especially percents of frequencies of people doing stuff, because that might bias your answers. And so this really, you can't tell the frequencies of stuff, just the correlations between things. So that's not really going to affect how you fill out the survey, probably. Um, but uh, please complete it. Um, we've got a few more days, six days, I think, and uh, I'd be very, very grateful. Thank you. Cheers.